Today, we're going to explore the different types of planets in our solar system and see what makes each of them unique. Thank you for watching. Let's begin. There are four types of planets in our solar system based on their characteristics. The first type of planet is the terrestrial planet. These are sometimes called the rocky planets because they have solid surfaces made of rock and metals. There are four terrestrial planets in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are relatively small and dense, ranging from about 4,800 kilometers or 3,000 miles to 12,700 kilometers or 7,900 miles in diameter. Some of these planets have atmospheres, while the others have little to none, which leaves them exposed to the harsh radiation and meteor impacts from space. Mercury is the smallest and closest planet to the sun. It has a very thin atmosphere and no moons. It has the most extreme temperature variations in the solar system, ranging from minus 173 degrees Celsius or minus 279 degrees Fahrenheit at night to 427 degrees Celsius or 801 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Venus is the second planet from the sun and the hottest planet in the solar system. It has a thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid that creates a runaway greenhouse effect. Because of this, the surface temperature is about 462 degrees Celsius or 864 degrees Fahrenheit and the atmospheric pressure is 92 times that of Earth. Venus has no moons and rotates very slowly in the opposite direction of most other planets. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only known planet in the solar system that supports life. It has a moderate atmosphere of nitrogen and oxygen that protects it from harmful radiation and allows for a stable climate. The surface is mostly covered by water, which makes up about 71% of its surface. Earth has one moon that influences its tides and seasons. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system. It has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide that allows for some weather phenomena, such as dust storms and clouds. The surface is mostly dry and rocky with features such as volcanoes, canyons, craters, and polar caps. Mars has two small moons of its own, and it is often considered a potential destination for human colonization because of its similarities to Earth. The second type of planet is the gas giant. These are the largest and most massive planets in our solar system. Jupiter. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets have very large atmospheres and deep interiors of gas and liquid. They do not have a solid surface that we can stand on. Instead, they have layers of clouds, liquids, storms, and winds that can reach speeds over 1,000 kilometers per hour or 600 miles per hour. These planets also have many moons and rings that orbit around them. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and the largest planet in our solar system. It has a thick atmosphere of hydrogen and helium that forms colorful bands and swirls. The most prominent feature on Jupiter is the Great Red Spot, a giant storm that has been raging for centuries. Jupiter has at least 80 moons. Jupiter also has a faint ring system composed of dust particles. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in the solar system. It has a similar atmosphere to Jupiter, but with more methane that gives it a yellowish hue. The most distinctive feature on Saturn is its magnificent ring system, which consists of billions of ice and rock particles that range in size from dust grains to mountains. Saturn has at least 145 moons. 
Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and the third largest planet in the solar system. It has a thin atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, and methane that gives it a bluish green color. Uranus is unique among the planets because it rotates on its side with its axis tilted 98 degrees. This means that its seasons last for decades and its poles experience 42 years of daylight followed by 42 years of darkness. Uranus has 27 moons and 13 rings that are also tilted. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and the fourth largest planet in the solar system. It has a similar atmosphere to Uranus, but with more methane that gives it a deeper blue color. Neptune is known for its supersonic winds that can reach speeds over 2,000 kilometers per hour or 1,200 miles per hour, making it the windiest planet in the solar system. Neptune has 14 moons and six rings. One of its moons, Triton, is the only large moon in the solar system that orbits in the opposite direction of its planet. The third type of planet is the ice giant. This is a subcategory of gas giants that includes Uranus and Neptune. These planets have a rocky core surrounded by a thick layer of water, ammonia, and methane ices. These ices give them a bluish green color and a lower temperature than the other gas giants. They also have strong magnetic fields that are tilted at a large angle from their rotation axis. The fourth type of planet is the dwarf planet. These are objects that share many characteristics with planets but they are not large enough to clear their orbits of other debris. This means they share their orbit space with asteroids, comets, and other small bodies. There are five officially recognized dwarf planets in our solar system. Pluto, Cirrus, Eris, Haumea, and Makemake. These objects are very diverse in size, shape, composition, and orbit. Some of them even have moons of their own. Pluto is the largest and most famous dwarf planet in the solar system. It was once considered the ninth planet until it was reclassified in 2006. Pluto has a thin atmosphere of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide that freezes and sublimates depending on its distance from the sun. The surface is mostly covered by ice and has a large heart-shaped region. Pluto has five moons, including one large one called Charon that is almost half its size. Ceres is the smallest and closest dwarf planet to the sun. It is also the largest and most massive object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Ceres has a rocky core and a thick mantle of water ice that may contain an underground ocean. The surface is mostly dark and cratered, but has some bright spots that may be salt deposits or ice volcanoes. Ceres has no moons. Eris is the most distant and second largest dwarf planet in the solar system. It is also the most massive dwarf planet, slightly heavier than Pluto. Eris has a thin atmosphere of nitrogen and methane that freezes when it is furthest from the sun. The surface is very cold and icy with an average temperature of minus 230 degrees Celsius or minus 382 degrees Fahrenheit. Eris has one small moon. Haumea is an elongated and fast spinning dwarf planet that orbits beyond Neptune. It has a rocky core and a thin layer of water ice that gives it a shiny appearance. The surface is mostly white and red with some patches that may be organic matter or minerals. Haumea has two moons that are also elongated and icy. Haumea also has a ring system composed of dust particles that may have been formed by collisions with other objects. Makemake is a round and reddish dwarf planet 
that orbits beyond Neptune. It has no atmosphere and a very low temperature of about minus 240 degrees Celsius or minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The surface is mostly covered by frozen methane, ethane, and nitrogen that gives it a reddish brown color. Makemake has one moon. These are the four types of planets in our solar system. The diversity and beauty of these worlds is astounding and inspiring. They challenge our imagination and expand our knowledge of what's possible in nature. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to show your support with a like or by sharing it with someone else who may enjoy it. I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.